Hey guys, it's uh, Raf and Jack here at the Surf House, and boy, do we have a special treat for you today. So, uh, as part of our new web series about a uh, bit of vlogging, what's happening at the Surf House, this week we are going to be vlogging about the new pergola and deck that we are going to build. And this is it here. Doesn't look like much at the moment, it looks like a pile of wood, but we've got these plans here that we received from, uh, so the surf house, we actually have a hammock engineer and he's just turned his hand to pergola and deck engineering. So he's actually given us these plans. I don't know if you can see these. Can you see anything there? So that's what it's supposed to look like in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Cause the fact is, we are in quarantine, so we, we just found out we've got another 30 days at least. 30 days. Until the world will go back to normal minimum. So, but in all honesty, it could be a bit longer than that. Could be longer. So we've got a little bit of time. We're stuck at the surf house. We've got all this wood. And the one thing about this wood is it's big bits of lumber. So, and for that, you really need to bring in the heavy equipment. And that is why we have our friend Jack here. He's come, in, come down all the way from Morzine, do a bit of heavy lifting, and he's yeah. two meters tall, this bloke, so we won't need to get any scaffolding or ladders. He'll pretty much be able to hold it in situ like this, so. Everything in-house. Yeah. Raf, I just want to say thanks, mate. I can't wait to uh, no worries, get on mate. your deck. <laughs> <laughs> the deck jokes yeah, have already it's, started. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. I didn't know Raf meant on to this size that we were going to build a big deck, but we've got the wood, we've got the time, We've got the skills. Kind of. Well, you'll see soon. Ish. <laughs> right, so Raph and Emmerich are down there trying to work out C squared or the value of X to try and build the deck. So I've got no real idea what they're up to, but let's go find out. Farm it. Have you worked out C, C equals pi yet, Raf? Yeah, Pythagoras is here, mate. It's uh, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And we know this is... We're gonna make a right angle triangle. This is going to be the B squared. This is gonna be the A squared. And the hypotenuse is going to be C squared. And we know this is four meters. So if we measure three meters here, then what we got to do, let me measure five meters and line up the base of that board with the third point of the triangle and our friend Pythagoras will give us 90 degrees from this wall. Perfect. Theory. Oh, <laughs> this is Miss Stanford in uh, year seven math, so if you're watching Miss Stanford, still got this. All right. Big shout out to Miss Stanford, year seven, uh, Raf's old school. So yeah, thanks Miss Stanford. Oh. Okay Raf, so uh, Pythagoras theory, thesis. Pythagoras is Pythagoras. theorem. This is five meters, that's five meters. This is four meters, that's three meters. That is it, that is a square, that's square as fuck, honestly. Felicitacion. See what we could test it with a set square. This is just a double check. Traditionally, you'd use a big square, but we don't have one of them, so we're just going to use this guy. But I mean, you, you can't get much more square than that. Mate. Like. Raph, just want to say, you're a f***ing legend, mate. Don't thank me, thank Pythagoras. That's another little tip from the Buildy Boys at Southwest Surf House. Right, so we're just going to do a little meet the fleet and we'll just go through with you some of the tools and what we've got on our workbench. Today, if you want to join us over here, hey Mac. So, so Jack, what's your favourite tool out of all these ones? My favourite tool out of all of these ones, probably this thing. That's quite nice, isn't it? This is, um, for anyone that doesn't know tool terminology, this is a hammer with different settings. It can, uh, a hammer drill, sorry, with different settings so it can go through concrete, wood and everything really and uh, you put batteries on it so you don't need a cable that's pretty good um, yeah the sledge the sledge is also like this is an invaluable bit of kit actually because for breaking down rocks and concrete and stuff like that it's pretty good uh, 
And these, we don't really wear them much, but we got them. So if anyone does come, they see we're being sensible. And things like this, like schematics and stuff. I don't know. What about you, Raph? Like, what's your go-to bit of kit? Like, what, what can't you go a day's work without? I mean, you can't go wrong with just <coughs> your classic hammer. And if you've got a hammer, even if you aren't using it, just chuck it in there. It just looks good, doesn't it? Just it adds to the look. Speaking of looks. Oh, I haven't got my tape, actually. Probably always have your tape on your pocket. Always have your hammer in your belt and always have a pencil behind the ear. And... A tea in hand. A cup of tea in hand doesn't go astray either. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs>another tradey tip here for you guys so when building your deck you need to put some of this white stuff down geotextile yeah as they call it in big get land found in any of your good super stores if you can find one open which we probably can't during this pandemic so you can just order online yeah but uh, all this does I think it just stops flowers from growing up and under your deck. I like how you said flowers. I think the rational term is sweet. sweet. But Jack's going for flowers. It says a lot about your character. I like that. Oh, thanks, mate. So, yeah. Uh, that's a trading tip of the day for you. And, uh, yeah, always use it, pretty much, I think. Google, how can you seal a cut end of wood? Here are some details. Um, I'm going to show you how to seal it with some new pressure treated product. So He's got fucking product, man. Uh, pressure treated product. It's a bit of engine oil, actually. A little uh, naughty boy tip from the boys here at the surf house. When you do make a cut on treated timber, as you can see here, that end was treated. Let me do a little snip, revealing some untreated timber. So most people will buy a product from your local Brico Marsh to retreat the timber, but we're just gonna save ourselves the hassle and just use a bit of engine oil. Some people might have heard of this trick if they have. That's surprising because I'm just making this up as I go along. Just yeah, a little bit like that. Also good for Fuck. car engines as well. What? Have you seen that? Oh, the surf is good, isn't it? Is that today? Yeah. It's firing. Oh my god. Sorry. So that should do it. I should give it another, uh, I'm gonna say 10 to 15 years of category four waterproof and moss and Fungus treatment, protection, sorry. You doing, Jack? <laughs> no, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> so, I'm, someone stole my mirror in the bathroom. Oh yeah, we, we haven't finished the bathrooms yet. We thought, it's good weather, so we're gonna do the deck, so there's no bathroom mirror, mirrors. It was either this or using my phone. That'll work. Yeah, so. Continue. Yeah, sorry, someone stole the mirror. So we got one, two, three. Four, five, six choice. We got about 18 to go. We'll be done in no time. It's not 18 really, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna test out this new uh, saw. It's one of the best in the business and it's named after one of the best in the business. It's called Jack. So we're gonna see how she goes. What's that in your ear, Rath? Back it up, mate. It'll be dangerous. Rath, is that for when you're going to work at 6 o'clock, but you've got a silent disco at 7? Huh? Good day, Governor.
G'day mate, time for a little deck update. Um, I can't remember where we left you. I'm pretty sure we were just putting these guys in. These are the, the footings that we put in midway along the joist. Get a little look at these, Jack. Just to show our viewers how we've supported it. Nice. Um, yeah, so it's just a paver and then we just attach these foot to it and this will take off the bounce to the joist. And now, after that, we chuck these posts in. Four posts, this is gonna be half of the Picola. The other four posts on this side aren't in yet because we're going to use driftwood and we haven't been able to get onto the beach due to the quarantine, but update, and if you heard that, Jack, it's officially open tomorrow. From nine o'clock in the morning till seven at night. Bollocks. Yeah, they're gonna do like um, a test. What do you mean nine o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's like they're gonna go, they're gonna cut a ribbon at nine o'clock. It's oh, nine o'clock until seven this weekend, and then they're gonna see for next weekend. Wow. So yeah, that's it, guys. We're surfing with the curfew. Anyway, posts are in. They're a little bit further away from the wall than we originally hoped. And that was due to a boundary infringement that we didn't realise, but we found out. Our neighbors were kind enough to let us know exactly where the boundary was so thanks so much for that guys so now we've moved the post uh, eight centimeters in so that the gutter won't impose on the boundary anyway decking boards are down oh la la no boundaries infringe there no so we've just put the done the first run and then by one of those really nice happy coincidences the, the boards that we're going to put in here, it's two boards are going to fit perfectly and we won't have to cut around the posts. So that's the silver lining for us having to move the posts eight centimetres in. So it all works out in the end. Okay. How good. Um, what else? Yeah, we're just putting some decking boards down. We're using five mil packers. And Where did you get your packers from, Ref? I made them actually. Oh yeah, let's take a gander. So these are like just bits of metal and I just chopped them up with a grinder. I keep them on my chisel when I'm not using them <laughs> so I don't lose them. Um, and yeah, we're just, Jack's going to give me a hand now. He's just been on a, on a date for the last couple of hours. So Beep! <laughs> so all this has been Sorry, mate. Me, but now Jack's here, I reckon we'll put these boards down in, in no time at all. Oh yeah, another little tip. If you've got like heaps of stuff that you need to get rid of. Oh yeah. Like we did, we had to do a lot of deshettery runs, but instead of loading them into the van, driving through the deshettery, we just decided to put them underneath the deck, which is why you can see all this. Many stones, many rocks. Yeah. So it's not, I don't know if it's even frowned upon, but we did it. It feels quite tradey. It feels quite a buildy thing to do. Yeah. To can, like lose the rocks, you know? You could hide anything, put anything under there. We just put rocks down there. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Maybe we'll do like a cool time lapse of us putting down the decking boards. That's pretty cool. You know how to do that? No, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling. Okay. 